Hello, I am Alessio Bernardelli, the science subject lead at TES. Today I want to ask you a question. Have you ever thought of graphs as stories? Yes, you heard correctly. Graphs can tell stories about all sorts of things. And today I want to tell you two stories with my graphs. One which has a very happy ending and one which is not so happy, unfortunately. This is the story of two athletes running at the Olympic final 100 meter race. Try to imagine them there, in the Olympic stadium, surrounded by thousands of excited fans who cheer for them as they prepare to begin the most important race of their life. These two young men have trained for months for a few seconds of glory, and this is the moment they have worked so hard for. Then, the sound of the starting gun reaches their eardrums, muffled by the deafening sound of the crowd that stands and jumps along the innumerable rows of seats that surround the stadium in delirium. But these two athletes have focused on only one thing, the finishing line, 100 meters away, but that seems so far. Both sprinters put all their effort in this race, but one of them takes the lead immediately. The green runner has already reached the 50 meters line. He's ahead of the race. He's going to win. In fact, he's so much faster than the other runners that he's not only going to win the gold medal, but if he carries on at this pace, he's going to smash any world record in history. In fact, he's going to finish the race in just about 7.5 seconds. Now, I don't even know if this is humanly possible, but play along with me for a minute and try to imagine the growing excitement of this athlete as he sees the finishing line approaching. But something terrible happens. The green runner, the one who was going to so unbelievably fast, who was undoubtedly going to win the gold medal and become the pride of his nation, falls. And that's when the red runner sees his chance. A fraction of a second earlier, he had given up all hope. He's too fast, he thought. I'm never going to reach him. But now everything is different. The red runner carries on as fast as he can, seeing himself on the podium, holding his gold medal in the air, proud to be the first gold medalist in the 100 meter race from his country. This is going to be the best day of his life. The red runner crosses the finishing line first with a sigh of relief, then slows down and stops and remembers the falling sprinter. He, the unfortunate green runner, lost a lot of ground and in his fall he can see all other athletes running past him. He has lost about 4.5 seconds and the race is over for him. But, as a true winner, he decides to finish the race. So he stands up and begins to run again, as fast as he can, with pride and with tears that start blurring in sight. He finally reaches the finishing line. He can stop now sit down, cover his face, and cry bitterly. His graph tells a very sad story, because this athlete will be too old to compete at the next games, and his accident stole away the dream of his life, a dream that was almost achieved a few seconds before. The red graph tells a very happy story, because the athlete became the hero of the day, the pride of his nation, and he was acclaimed by thousands of people. He lived his moment of glory, and it is all told so beautifully by his distance time graph. As you can see, graphs can truly tell stories. Exciting and moving stories, like the ones I've just told you. But also important stories, like how the Earth's temperature changes over the years, or how a child's height develops over time and many other useful things that you can visualize, understand and describe so easily with a graph. So next time you look at a graph, look at it with the eyes of your imagination and tell yourself the story hidden behind those lines and numbers. Thank you for watching and uh, goodbye.